Hi everyone and welcome to the next lesson on our WOW AI Phishing uh, OpenCV Computer Vision Bot. Um, we're going to jump right in from where we left off last time. So if you haven't been following along, please look at the previous videos and you can grab this code from the GitHub repository in the link below. Um, so this is our main.py that we created last time and just to re remind everyone what, what it's going to do. It's going to create a endless loop that's going to start capturing our screen live. We can display it here and we got an idea of how many frames per second our agent's running at. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to start to implement some object-oriented programming here and actually create some uh, classes that we can start to uh, instantiate. So. The first class we're going to create is actually uh, what I call the main agent. It's the main AI that's going to control, let's say, any other, other agents that are acting. So we're going to create a class. We're going to call that main agent. And we need to define the init function. Okay. Now, um, if we think about what the main agent might want to have stored, um, let's say within itself as an object, uh, probably a good thing to have would be the current screenshot, the current image that is being uh, captured live, right? So let's create a, uh, uh, a variable self dot screenshot equals none, okay? And this is going to be the, the place where we're going to store the screenshots that are coming out of that update screen function so that our main AI, uh, our main agent, you know, has access to that easily uh, from itself. And, um, but I want to, I want to talk about um, so one of the problems that we have with our project right now uh, with our current implementation. So let's, let's do this. Let's say we, uh, we have our main agent self dot uh, screenshot is none and then after after we uh, set up self dot screenshot is none we can actually call update screen okay and what this is going to do is this is going to create a uh, it's going to run this this application and it's going to create this infinite while loop and um, Let's do one, one more thing. Let's, instead of um, saving this final item here as screenshot, we can actually pass in, uh, let's actually make this a part of the class. So let's call self.update screen. And let's pass in, self will be passed in, okay. So, so, so what we've done here is we've, we've changed our update screen function to be part of the main agent class. And when we instantiate the main agent, we're gonna create a, a spot to hold the screenshot. And we're gonna, we're gonna start this update screen function. Okay, and when we start this update screen function, instead of storing this in screenshot, we can store this in self.screenshot. Okay. So what that means is that um, I've got to fix all of these. So self dot screenshot. Okay. So what that means is when we create uh, this this class, when I instantiate this main agent, it's going to immediately run this code. That's what this init function does. You can think of this as the constructor uh, if you're thinking about like C plus plus. And it's going to uh, immediately run this, so it's going to immediately start. So instead of calling update screen in our main function, we're actually going to we're going to create our main agent. So let's call it main agent, and we're going to create an instance of that. Okay. And when I when I run this code, just with just by creating this agent, it's going to immediately start executing this code. Okay. So we've, we instantiated main agent and it immediately started this, this while loop. So let's quit that. So let me show you one of the problems that we have right now with this code. Okay, 
one of the problems that we have is what if I want to perform other tasks while this is happening? So let's say, uh, just to illustrate the point, let's say after we set up our agent, so all the setup happens here, let's say we want, let's just print out setup complete, okay? So what this is gonna do is this is gonna instantiate the agent, it's gonna set it up, and then it's gonna notify, okay, the agent's been instantiated, it's all complete. So let's look at what happens. And actually, let's let's comment out the FPS line because um, we won't be able to see it. We won't be able to see it. It'll 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 be scrolling so quickly. So when I run this, you'll see that I don't get any any output here. But when I quit the program, I get setup complete. So this is this is the problem with the current implementation that we have. When this function is called it goes into an infinite loop. So nothing ever happens after that. And that's not really what we want. What we want is to set up update screen as a daemon in Linux terms or a process in Windows terms. We want to create a thread that, that, that is running that function constantly and but allows us to perform other tasks. It allows the program to execute other things. So we need to set this up as a thread. We don't want to set this up as an infinite loop that's being called the way it is right now. So to do that, we're going to actually have to import another item from Python standard library. It's the thread. Uh, it's the threading library. So we're going to do from thread threading import thread. Okay. Now let's take this update screen function and let's take this back out of the class. So it's no longer part of the class. This is a standalone function again. So sorry, let's delete all these selves. Okay, let's go back to the way we were. So if I remove that self, so this will still run the same way right now. It's going to call um, self, it's going to call the update screen function just as a standalone function. Okay. Let's create this. Let's create a thread object that's going to that's going to use this function as as a thread. So that means other things can continue to happen in parallel while this function is running because we want the agent to be doing things, looking at things, calculating things while it's updating the screen. We don't want it to get stuck in this infinite loop of updating the screen. So to do that, after we instantiate this main agent, let's go, let's go down to this, to this main, um, to the, to the main uh, entry point. So after we create the agent, we don't want to call update screen. Right? We want to set up, we want to set this up and we'll print out setup complete. It's called this main agent setup complete. So we know that the agent has been set up fully. And after we do that, we want to start a thread that's going to continue to capture the screen. So to do that, we're going to create a, uh, a thread. So let's call, let's create a new uh, variable called update screen thread. And that's going to be equal to a thread, okay? And this thread's going to take some some parameters. So the first parameter is the target, and the target you can think of as the target entry point or the target function. So in our case, we want this update screen function to be a thread. So we're going to say target equals update screen. Now it's important that you don't put the um, parentheses here because we don't want to execute that. We want to pass that function as a variable. So we want to pass the function. We don't want to pass the execution of the function. Okay. So that's the update screen. Next, we want to pass in the arguments. So in our case, the arguments is just going to be empty. Okay. Because it doesn't accept any arguments. Okay. And I'm actually going to do this just to make it a little easier to read. I'm going to put these as separate lines. Okay. All right. Sorry. That makes it hard to read with the autocomplete. 
Okay, so after the arguments, we want to. It's good to give this thread a name so it's easy to identify for debugging and whatnot. So we can say name equals, and let's call this the update screen thread. And finally, we um, we want to we want to create this as a daemon or a daemon, depending on how you want to say that. Now you might be thinking, well, what the heck is a daemon? Is that a monster? So a daemon kind of comes from, I guess, Linux terminology or whatnot but you know there's a history on that but essentially you can think of a daemon as a process that is happening behind the scenes um, the reason we want to set this as true is and I, and I can demonstrate with it on and off to kind of show you what happens but essentially what that's going to do is that's going to make it easier to uh, to close this when the program is finished execution so let's um, let's run this uh, oh, sorry, we, we are not ready to run this yet. So we've created the thread. So now we have to actually start that thread. So we've created it and it's just sitting there. It's waiting for us to hit the start button. So let's start the thread. Okay, so now that we hit start, uh, now that we've started that thread, um, it's going to execute. Okay, and we can actually print here thread started. So this is just to kind of show that that the, the application is is flowing. So let's run this and see what happens. Let's get an idea what's going on. And so I actually I actually made a mistake here. So we actually want to set this daemon as false. And the reason is that this is our, you can think of this as kind of our uh, our main thread. Um, so the, the, the other threads that we'll be using like that are moving the mouse around and things like that those are going to be demons. Those are going to be kind of tied to this main thread. So we want to set that as false. Okay. So um, I can. So I'll, I'll explain this demon um, a little bit later on, on why you would want that true or false in different situations. So what we've done here is let's look at let's look at what's happened. We've um, instantiated our main agent. Okay. So the main agent was complete. So all the code executed. Um, let's look at our main function here. We got all the way to thread started, which means everything executed here, and we still have this infinite loop going. So what we've done here is we've created a thread that um, is continuing to update this screen, and that is continuously being stored in main agent. So everything that we see on the screen, main agent now has access to in the variable self.screenshot. So any other logic that main agent wants to perform, it's going to be able to, to use this screenshot now as input data. Okay, It's going to be able to see. This is where the computer vision starts coming in. And we, because we've used threads, we're not locked in that loop. We're able to execute other code. So if I wanted to, I could actually start a second thread or a third thread and start running those as well. And those are all going to be running in parallel. Okay, so so what what we have now is the basic building block for the vision part of our application, where we're capturing the vision and we are able to execute other code. So I think this is a good stopping point. So you might want to take some time and experiment with um, threads. You might want to try on your own, see what happens if you add another thread and start it. Uh, and see what happens. I'll let you experiment on your own with that. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.